This building was built in 1920. It was the headquarters of the International Tailoring Company. I've been a resident here for the last 14 years and we're really excited about all of the infrastructure projects that we're doing relating to decarbonization with our heating and cooling systems. Some of the challenges were the age of the equipment that the uh, building had. They were pretty much over 40 years old. You know, what are you spending every year just keeping this equipment alive? What are you spending on the energy costs versus, let's say we you know, bite the bullet, take the opportunity we have today to, to get these incentives to invest in the infrastructure before things are broken. It also was a seasonal switchover system, which meant that it could either provide heating or cooling. So some apartments were more comfortable than other apartments, depending on the time of the year. My apartment would get over 80 degrees and the building would still be providing heat. So I couldn't do anything except for just open a window, which unfortunately without a cross draft doesn't do much. When I started looking at ways that we could get the comfort that we were lacking at the building, the obvious place to go was heat pumps. They really wanted a system that was you know, fully flexible, that was gonna enable everyone to have the right heating or cooling. And then yeah, really wanted to get value for money, wanted to kind of leverage the assets they had in place and have the, you know, the right solution for their building. First phase of this project is actually going into people's apartments and putting in these new low temperature hybrid water source heat pumps. So kind of two key incentives that we have for this building. One is nice CERDA's low carbon pathways for multifamily buildings. Uh, the other is New York State's clean heat incentive. Which allowed us to offset about 20% of the project costs. Without those incentives, I think we would have been stuck towards staying to a very similar system. Local Law 97 was a bill passed by the New York City Council to encourage buildings in New York City to reduce their carbon emissions. And the main way they did it was by implementing a system of fines. This building was going to be liable for fines in 2030 of about $90,000 a year. So by reducing its carbon emissions the way this project is doing so, they're going to be fine free in 2030 through 2050, which is the extent of the law so far. With the completion of the project, building expects about 38% uh, of cost reduction in energy consumption in addition to carbon emission reduction of 80% which A, will improve the building's letter grade and B, will save them a lot of money on future penalties. It's just such a building block to then take those next steps. You know, right now we have an envelope that, that isn't the best and quite often I've seen buildings realize like, oh, well, our envelope isn't great or like this thing isn't great. So like, why would we invest in these other systems? But actually what we've realized is that we can put this in play today as the building does these incremental improvements on their assets when they do get to end of life, that we're actually compounding the value of this project. For example, when we improve the windows, we can actually start lowering the temperatures of the building system, which makes our air to wall heat pump system even more efficient. So everyone is very happy with the new equipment, new capabilities, and new energy saving opportunities.